Hello there, and welcome once again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big no matter what sport you are betting on. And now the NBA season for 2019 2020 is ready to tip off, and we have a lot of excellent matchups in store for you for Friday, October the 25th. First of all, if you're not already a member, please join, and you will have access to the VIP club section here, which has many great tools to help you make your picks a lot more easy and more profitable. So let's scroll down through here and we'll take a look at some of the games for the 25th in the NBA. Scroll down through here. And the first one I want to take a look at is the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics. A great matchup here in the Eastern Conference. The Raptors, who were the NBA champs last year, head to Boston to take on the Celtics, who were um, third in the uh, Atlantic Division. Now Toronto is coming in without Kawhi Leonard this season as he signed for the Clippers in the offseason. So it's a completely different Raptors team. Do they have enough to defend? Well, we'll soon find out. So you see here they're entering average down versus the Celtics burning hot. The winning streak, you don't really take much of a look at that because it is preseason. All these games were in the preseason. But later on, once the season starts, we'll take a look at this, and it will mean a lot more preseason games you can take with a grain of salt. But we're going to look at the power rankings indicator. And you will see here, that Boston is opening the season at plus 26. That Toronto is down here at plus 15. You can see a swift decline in their power ranking. If we look at the head-to-head -head matchup from last season, you will notice that in the four games, the home team won every single time. And there were a few blowout games in there. Toronto blew out Boston in the last meeting by 23. A 12-point win by Toronto in their first meeting in Boston won games that were a little bit closer, but still by seven and nine points. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over-under, well, if you're looking at the over-under here, you can see that Toronto is trending under with the red line compared to the blue line. And if you look at Boston, they are playing in games trending under as well, the red line compared to the blue line. So Betting the under is a safe bet for game for this game here. If you take a look at their stability from last year, the volatility oscillator, now this is from last season. At the end of last season, you can see that Toronto was at plus 32, Boston at plus 24. So both teams were really consistent as far as their favorite underdog status indicates. So what I'm looking at here is uh, Boston at home will likely be the favorite. And that should be enough in, the, in this first matchup between the two teams. Look for the Celtics to prevail on their home court. Go down through here to another matchup that we have for you. The Dallas Mavericks and their Orlando Pelicans. Or excuse me, Dallas Mavericks and the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans. So, the last team, uh, these two teams finished at the bottom in the Southwest Division. So, New Orleans won three out of the four games between these teams. And if you look at the power rankings indicator, you'll see they have a huge advantage here on that, plus 26 to plus 7. Although Dallas has come up some from way down at the bottom, they're still only at plus 7, so a big advantage there for New Orleans. Dallas is average up at the moment, and you can see the Pelicans here are burning hot. You can see down here uh, at the comments section here, that's, this is a comment that I made about the, about the matchup, so you can read that, and there will be other people that will make comments as well. You can take a look at that and see what other people think, and that might help you make your picks as well. If you look at head-to-head -head from last season, in the well, they didn't have they actually they had how many meetings? They had four meetings last season. So in the four meetings, New Orleans won three out of the four, uh, winning one on the road and winning both of their meetings at home. Considering the over and under, uh, let's take a look. Dallas is playing in games trending over the line. While New Orleans is playing against trending well over the line, so you can see here a big disparity between the uh, red line and the blue line. So this is a clear indication to bet the over in this matchup. As far as volatility, how stable were the two teams last year? Well, take a look. Both teams relatively stable. Here's about Dallas at plus 31. And New Orleans at plus 21. So again, their favorite underdog status should be taken into account. If you really want to take a gamble, since both of these teams were pretty much dead even in the standings last year, if you want to take a little bit of a gamble, you might want to go for the Mavericks in a very tight game, a tight upset. But the safe play is to take New Orleans at home. Scrolling down through here to another game. Here's an interesting one. Phoenix at Denver. 
So now Phoenix had the worst record in the league last season, winning just 19 games. So they head to Denver to take on a Nuggets team that was second in the Western Conference last year. So you can see Phoenix ice cold down, Denver burning hot. On the power rankings indicator, you'll take notice that once it comes out, there we go. We take notice that Denver is at plus 25. Phoenix, although only wanting, winning 19 games last year, they, they are improved as far as the power rankings go, at least at the moment, at plus 16. It looks like they could be trending in the right direction. If you're considering the over-under, you see that Phoenix is playing in games trending over the line, and so is Denver, only slightly over, so you might want to go with the over in this game. How about the head-to-head -head matchup? You can see on the head-to-head -head matchup that Denver here won just about every game last season, right? Take a look at this. They actually won a preseason game against them also, 107-102 to 102 this year. But last year, they won three out of the four regular season meetings. How stable are the two teams at the moment? Very stable. Look at this. Plus 40 for Phoenix. Actually, more stable than Denver. Doesn't mean they are better, obviously. It just means that they are performing more consistently with their favorite underdog status than Denver has, although Denver is also plus 34, also very stable. So there's really no indication here, although that uh, Dallas has improved, there's really no, in or excuse me, Phoenix has improved. There's no indication that Phoenix really has enough to take down Denver in Denver. So look for the Nuggets to win. Uh, Phoenix could stay with them for a while, but Denver will win and probably by double digits. Portland at Sacramento. Trailblazers. Coming off a 53-win season, third in the Western Conference, the Kings were third in the Pacific, but were four games under 500. Portland, though, is dead at the moment on their uh, status here. Sacramento average up. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see how what this is showing here, that Portland's on a steep decline since, uh, well, last season in May. Steep decline to plus six. Sacramento's upside there are at plus five. You look at the total predictor for the over and under. Again, we are seeing that Portland is playing in games trending a bit over, and so is Sacramento. So over is probably a safe play and for a lot of high-scoring games this weekend, it looks like. Um, if you look at the volatility oscillator, how stable were the two teams last year? Again, as the case is with all these teams, they're all pretty stable. Portland plus 36, Sacramento plus 33. So take a look at what's happening with the favorite underdog status. Portland probably will be a road favorite because they were better last year, but it won't be by much. So the line is not out yet, so take a notice of that when the line does come out. But in any event, I will pick the Trailblazers to win this game decided by a score margin of probably six or fewer points. Now the last game we want to look at is the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Lakers. Utah won 50 games last season, and the Lakers won only 37. However, the Lakers should be much more powerful this year with the addition of Anthony Davis and a healthy LeBron James. Right now, they are average status compared to dead for Utah. On the power rankings indicator, again, I always like to use this. It's a great tool. You see the Lakers are up here at plus 23, and Utah is on a downward trend. They are at plus 8. If you look at the totals predictor predicting the over and under, you will see that Utah is trending in games over. Los Angeles is trending in games well under. You might want to avoid the over-under, but if you do go with the over-under, I would go under because of the how far the Lakers are trending under the line. How stable were the two teams? You take a look at this. Not quite as stable as some of the teams we have seen, but still the, the Jazz at plus 28. The Lakers are at plus 18. More of a straighter uh, stability, stability line here just going up and down slightly but you can see utah is more on an upward trend at plus 28. head to head last season in the two meetings the home team won both times the lakers by four on april 9th utah by 15 on march the 27th so taking a look more closely at this i don't really see utah doing much on the road, I have a feeling that the Lakers are going to come out on fire, playing at home with their new look team. I think this will be a high scoring game. I think the Lakers will be off to a good start this season, securing home court and winning this game. So, there you have it. Those are the matchups here for the first weekend of the NBA regular season 2019 2020. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck betting this weekend, and we will see you next week.